It's October 6th, 2023. Two weeks spent well at Pachamama, and now we're headed into Austria to see friends at Vienna. It's a breathtaking morning to be traveling. It's been a really warm fall, but today's kind of like a crisper October morning. This weekend is Thanksgiving in Canada, which if you don't know, that's a holiday celebrated only in Canada and the US. And it's basically sort of like an end of harvest festival to literally give thanks for all the harvest, for all the food, the abundance. Obviously we are not at home, nobody here celebrates the holiday, but we're gonna do something special. We're gonna cook our version of Thanksgiving dinner for Philip and Elisa and celebrate with them. But before we can do any of that, we first have to get there. So ahead of us is a three hour Flix bus and then we can talk about Thanksgiving. We're on the bus, but it was super full and now we don't get to sit beside each other. That's okay, because it's just three hours and we're in Vienna. As far as travel days go, this one is very relaxed compared to what we've been dealing with lately. So. Tell me what's going on, Daddy Big. All right, we are in Vienna. It's nice to be back. Now we have uh, 30 minutes by subway and we've arrived. Where we're gonna be for the weekend, so let's do it. What's your favorite part about spending time with Philip and Elisa? I think that they just have such like, great personalities and they're such kind people. I think my favorite thing about hanging out with Philip and Elisa is Philip's enthusiasm. If an idea comes up, he's always, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. Okay, we're here. Okay, yeah, she said press top 15. Hello. It's so good to see you. Hi. Come in, come in. Okay. In Canada right now, this weekend, is Thanksgiving. You know what Thanksgiving is? Yeah, kind of. The, the US thing. <laughs> yeah, only. Well, we do it in Canada. We do it a month earlier, but it's basically the exact same holiday. So we wanted to, um, for Sunday, because that's the official day, mm -hmm. we wanted to go to the grocery store and get like everything we need and make like a Thanksgiving feast and have it with you guys. Yeah! That's cool. Yeah. That yeah. sounds amazing. Uh, what, what is the traditional food? The traditional food is all meat, so we won't be cooking that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that's okay, because we are not new to vegan Thanksgiving and had plenty of recipes up our sleeve. Uh, yeah, because we had Thanksgiving by ourselves last year. So yeah. we're very cool. excited to be with friends this year. Oh, of course, yeah. Nice. yeah. Such a good idea. Yeah, oh it was great to hear that Philip and Elisa were on board with our Thanksgiving idea, but we wouldn't celebrate until Sunday, so lots to do in between. After some catching up, there we are. Yeah. Oh, yeah, these photos too. I think yeah, we, yeah, from we headed out to do some sightseeing around Vienna. Uh, we're heading to the Schloss Schimbrunn Castle. It was the home of our last emperor and his wife. Last emperor and his wife? It's a castle in the huge garden uh -huh. and the first ever zoo. Zoo okay. or zoo? How, how do you spell it right now? Zoo. Zoo. You gotta grind that Z. Zoo. 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 Yeah, it's crazy. So, Lindsay, you want to see a zoo or a zoo? <laughs> zoo. What's the park called? Champon. Champon. Like it's <laughs> called Beauty Beauty Well. Beauty Well. All right, we're well. in Beauty Well Park. Uh -huh. <laughs> this park was the lawn of the their last emperor. That guy's a greenhouse, and then over here, that's a church. I think we're gonna walk past the greenhouse, but I'm kind of just along for the ride at this point. I'm not sure what we're doing, so I'm just gonna let Philip lead the way. 
rose garden is some sort of project. Uh, you can buy plant of roses, tag your name on it, let it grow, and they grow it here. And after they're big enough, they will give it back to you for your garden or they bring it somewhere else to let it grow. All these little signs, Philip's translating them. Oh, uh, <laughs> like, yeah. From my grandma on her 80th birthday. Aww. Yeah. Very beautiful space. They cut all the trees once per year, but they never stop cutting. So they start in one end of the park and then they cut each tree. They groom it, right, to make these archways. And then by the time they're finished, they have to start at the other end of the park because it's been a whole year that's gone by. Amazing. Yeah. Look at the trees. I know. The discipline of these trees. <laughs> We're standing in front of the castle that traditionally before 1910, the Emperor of Austria lived in. The Schönbrunn Castle has 1,441 rooms. People can live here. Yeah, there are apartments as well. Uber East driver gets a call, delivers mm. like some McDonald's to the castle. <laughs> There's gotta be a butler, right? <laughs> or something. I don't know. It was first planned 1638. Oh, okay. And re, re, uh, rebuilt like it looks nowadays, like 1892. That's pretty new yeah. actually, by European standards. Yep. <laughs> Going to the best pizza place in Vienna. It's called Disco Volante. Si, si, Italian. <laughs> Cheers! Thanks for having me. Of course, again, yeah. yeah. And again, and again, and again. Next 10 times. My drink is called a Disco Split. Do you like sour. it? It's okay, yeah. So we are in a pizza restaurant right now, down the street from Philip and Elise's apartment, and they have told us that this is the best pizza place in Vienna. Wow, what the heck? What the heck? What the heck? <laughs> looks really good, huh? Yeah, it looks amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy! Crazy. Yeah. Okay, we are walking back from a delicious pizza dinner and we're headed back to Philip and Elisa's. It's pretty late. Actually, that's not true. It's not very late at all, but I'm super, super tired. <laughs> I wouldn't tell but someone else they're wrong. Look at them eyes. I'm very tired. Me <laughs> too. Okay, we're back at Philip and Elisa's house and we're going to bed. Vegetables? Do you guys like tomatoes, zucchini, cucumbers? Cute. I like cucumbers. Is just for salad. Just no, so fresh. you can have it every day. Pumpkin, um, sweet potatoes. Sweet carrots. potatoes, yeah. Sweet potatoes. Yeah. yeah. And Alisa, you said your mom gave you a big pumpkin. Yeah. Okay. That's this one. Oh, so oh, that's it? good. We can use that though. That's perfect. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Perfect. I make butter and squash pie. It'll do the exact same. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Lisa just brought us over some porridge that is so beautiful with nuts and coconut and everything yeah, on top. This one as well. <gasps> Peanuts and honey. Wow. This is amazing. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah, Tell the camera what's happening. Um, I just called a guy um, who has a, a drum studio or a studio for music in general and today there is a, a place between four and five one hour uh, for you to drum play the drums baby <laughs> Slam okay cool yeah, yeah of course i was going back and um, reserved the, the the place for four to five all right is an hour enough for you yeah well it's more than enough really? yeah 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 for you sure you can teach them some stuff in that time all right cool play the drums real drums Wow! Happy Thanksgiving! Yeah, no kidding. You don't even give gifts on this occasion, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're getting one. It's better to have a 
have. Yeah, right. Zoo and soup. Yeah. I guess we'll get a bag of carrots. Yeah. Yeah, grab an extra garlic to be safe. I kind of want peas. I think peas would be nice, like carrots, peas, Brussels sprouts. I want to get okra too. I think okra would be here. Coconut cream. cream. Coconut it just cream. means like the thickest possible. Is it, is it like yeah. Nutella? You mean? The I think either this or the one that Elisa has should be fine. Yes. Just take both yeah. of them. Shopping was a success. We got everything except for one item. Now we're headed to the checkout. Okay, we got all the groceries that we needed from the villa. We're missing one thing, but we'll get it later on when we're out in the city. And then I think, yeah, we're gonna go do some sightseeing now. Was Mozart born in Vienna? Nope, Salzburg. Salzburg? Yeah. But he was he, he lived and died here, I guess. Mozart died in Vienna. Huh. Fact I had just come up with. <laughs> Mozart. Mozart. Amazing. There's so little color though, you know? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. That's one thing I liked a lot about Latin America, is everything is colorful. Yeah. Here everything is like very like, you know? Yeah, Latinos are very expressive people. Yeah. I think that's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You make <laughs> remarkable tour guides. We try, we give our best. I mean, it's just for giving you the best possible impression. Thank you. You're welcome. I just show you all the places to eat pizza and bars. Have alcohol, yeah. yeah. <laughs> when it comes to that, I'm your girl. <laughs> Jumping, huh, Bear? It's pretty cool out here. Tell me where we are. We're in the main square of Vienna. Everywhere you look, there's a building of significance and beauty. From this square right here, you can see one, two, three, four, five, five very important places in Vienna. Wow. Very nice sightseeing spots, and you can see it all from this square. This is, the, this is the Hofburg, yeah. and on the balcony you see there the big one. 1938, Hitler announced that Austria is now part of Germany, and right at this square there were at least a million people cheering up. Hey, welcome! Yeah, of course we want to be part of Germany. Wow. You want to start a war? Hey, we're in! <laughs> <laughs> like, it was like this. And here is a very good pizza place at the back in the park. Yes, Alisa! Yes! Yeah! <laughs> The market right here, the Naschmarkt, uh, was first invented in 1780. Wow. So it's, one of the, it's the oldest market in Vienna. And now we're headed to some sort of rehearsal space where Wyatt is gonna drum. For the first time in two years. Slam and tubs, first time in two years. Okay, this 2B. This 2B. This is for you. Oh wow, it's actually a very big room. As you can probably tell, I was very excited to be back at the drums for the first time in nearly two years. Philip organizing this jam session was an extremely thoughtful gift. For most of this hour I spent behind the kit, I played along to my favorite songs that I learned how to play the drums to as a kid.
Bands like Good Charlotte, Green Day, Simple Plan, Rise Against, Fall Out Boy. We played it all, and either Philip or Elisa stood next to me with their own set of headphones so they could listen along as I played over top of some of my favorite songs. This really was an unforgettable experience for me and definitely ignited a lot of my passions that I haven't acknowledged in the last two years for music and, of course, for the drum set. This is how it feels like when you have assistance. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're gonna leave the left hand right here. Yeah. Put your foot here. Okay. Close this. Yeah. Put some weight on that. One, two, two three, three, four. No, wait. Ah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. The okay. first one was amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You just have the rhythm. Yeah, she does. I don't know what happened, but there's so much energy in it, you know? And you, yeah. I mean, yeah. It looks like it's really easy for you. Giving, it fun. I mean, if Wayne would give you a week really of class, lovely. maybe it would be easy for you to learn it. Thank you. Oh, thank you. So, did you guys have fun? Yeah. It was, it was so good fun. Yeah, it, was it was better so than any live concert. Oh. Yeah. Really? For sure. You were yeah. killing it. After two years of doing literally nothing. But actually, yeah, it really so much energy. Yeah. I don't know how to describe, but if you, you feel the power. That was amazing. Yeah. He was the best teacher ever. Uh, <laughs> he is a good yeah, drum definitely. teacher. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. He did a really good job. So happy that Philip brought up the idea. Yeah. And then we executed on it, and uh, I got to play the drums again. Love you. <laughs> I love you too. We are headed out right now. It is Sunday morning and we are headed out to go rock climbing in a gym. Let's go. Another beautiful morning here in Austria. Nice mild October. Good weather for Thanksgiving. This morning I took some bread out of a bag and left it on the counter to go stale because we're making stuffing. I think we can uh, sign you up for the kids' competition. <laughs> Is this like a three? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. We're gonna upgrade you mm -hmm. to four or five, even. Okay. So, the last time we were here in Austria, uh, we didn't film anything for the YouTube channel, but we did go rock climbing with these guys. But we went rock climbing outside on actual rocks. And obviously, there wasn't that many like difficulty choices. So it was much, much more challenging than um, what I've done so far here today. Yeah, last time was a ton of fun. I'm really hoping we up the difficulty in here soon. <laughs> I will try a hard one for the beginning. Yeah, we, we climb two. hard soon. Um, I will try a, maybe a 6C or a 6C plus. <laughs> It hurts your neck after a while, like looking up at who's climbing. Look at that positioning, that leg positioning. <laughs> yeah, this guy climbs every weekend. Yeah, you gotta get that last one pushed in. Yeah. Very good. Good for first route. You warm now? Now I'm warm, yeah. Forearms are burning already. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this man could totally fail. <laughs> Philip is giving me a crash course on how to climb lead, which means I will be taking the rope up with me and attaching it along the way on each of the clips in the wall. There 
is a Boulder Center. Trying to get the rope to come up. Yeah, that was the yeah, toughest. Yeah, it gets heavy, right? Yeah, it gets yeah. so heavy. Yeah, this is so surprising. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You're gonna do this one? Uh, yeah, peach. Yes, peach. 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 Yeah, peach is great. She said, Elisa, how do I grab it? Just trying to grab the boobies. To the right, right? Excuse the interruption. It's me, Wyatt, from the future, in the basement of a Buddhist center in northern Austria, near the border of Germany. But that's a story for another day. For now, I wanted to share this with you. Ever since I watched Game of Thrones and I followed Jason Momoa on Instagram and saw his crazy posts about rock climbing, the dude's got these insane videos of him hanging upside down by his fingertips off rocks and stuff like that. I really want to try out rock climbing. I've, I think I've done it like once. I did it at a birthday party when I was really young. So there you have it. Back at the end of 2018, beginning of 2019, I made it a New Year's resolution to learn to rock climb. Here we are five years later. I finally got around to that. Amazing. Another huge thank you to Philip and Elisa. Appreciate you guys and appreciate you taking us out and showing us the ropes, quite literally. Now, back to the video. Did everybody have a good time? Yeah, I had a great time. Elisa, did you have a good time? Yeah, definitely. I'm exhausted, but it was a good time. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Now we're headed home to make Thanksgiving dinner. We've returned to Philip and Elisa's house and we're getting started on our Thanksgiving dinner. The first thing we're doing is roasting off a butternut squash to make a pumpkin or butternut squash pie. For our vegan Thanksgiving dinner, we will be making the following. Pumpkin pie, stuffing, better than meatloaf, mashed potatoes, roasted vegetables, and of course, gravy. Once the squash was done roasting, we scooped out the flesh. Doubling the pie filling because they have a big pie holder. I can't argue with this. Yeah, I don't think anybody can really. Added cinnamon, coconut milk, brown sugar, and blended until smooth. This is actually amazing, wow. Oh, this is gonna be such a good pie. Yeah, isn't it? Ready? Yeah. Taste? Mm. Official taste? Mm. We go to the field for the call? Oh, it's so good! Yeah. It's so good, it's so good. It's perfect. It's exactly how it's supposed to be. Then I poured the filling into a prepared pie crust and oh put it God. into the oven for later. Having the title of keeping the vibes up, what are you doing to ensure this? Um, I restocked the beer in the fridge. Beer! Hmm? We do have a small one left. This is a small one. This is a small Austrian beer. Half a liter. You want half, yeah? No, very good. Yeah, that's that's maybe one of the most toughest jobs today. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you see, I'm I'm busy right now by organizing beer. Mm. Beer and football. Yeah, beer and football. It's it's Thanksgiving. <laughs> it's Thanksgiving. <laughs> Lisa, it's Thanksgiving. Yeah, thank you. Just just do your job and let me do mine. Okay. <laughs> Look, yeah. the vibes are up in here and it's because of Philip, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, be quiet, I want to watch football. <laughs> For our vegan stuffing, we started by tearing stale sandwich bread into bite-sized pieces. What has Chef Lindsay got you working on? Yeah, I have to 
rip the toast bread into pieces, into little ones. I have no idea um, for what reason, actually. Then we sauteed onions, carrots, and celery. I just put in fresh sage, uh, rosemary, and black pepper into the vegetables because the way that my mom makes stuffing is with a ton of sage. So. Gotta make sure you have that. Next, I combined the stale bread and sauteed veggies in a bowl. So we're just transferring our vegan stuffing into a couple of bread pans, and then we're gonna put them in the oven. I can just remind you, this is like an independent woman look like. <laughs> How many screens does he need? <laughs> just looking for a new beer. Uh, right, right, right. <laughs> a moment ago, Philip was watching the Bills versus uh, the Jaguars. It really started to feel like Thanksgiving. Except for the fact that the commentary was in German. <laughs> <laughs> this is what Thanksgiving's always looked like. My dad upstairs watching football. No, seriously? Mom. Oh yeah, of course, <laughs> yeah. This is very Thanksgiving, <laughs> like spot on. For our main dish, we are making <laughs> vegan meatloaf. To start, mm -hmm. I mashed canned white beans. The spoon's working good for the beans. We're making like a, a meatless meatloaf, I guess, as the main dish. Like the singer. So, yeah, kind of like this thing. <laughs> we sauteed onions, garlic, carrots, and celery, and then we put in some smushed up white beans uh, just to saute a little bit. Next, I combined crumbled tofu with tomato paste, soy sauce, salt, pepper, veggie stock powder, mustard, and some leftover mashed squash from our pie. Quite good. I think it needs a little bit of salt, and there's something else missing. You really think salt? Oh, yeah, absolutely salt. Okay. You want to put more nutritional yeast? Yeah. Yeah, both those things. So the instructions say that we're supposed to take what's in that pot and shape it into a meatloaf. I'm a little confused why we don't just put it into a loaf tray and then make it into a meatloaf, but... I used all of the loaf pans for the second. Oh, you used all the loaf pans, okay. While we're making dinner, I'm also giving Philip drum lessons, so let's jump into that. It's so hard. I can't do fingers with my hand. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You've got a big pot of potato chunks, and this is going to turn into mashed potatoes. Garlic mashed potatoes. Garlic rosemary. Garlic rosemary mashed potatoes. A staple food. A staple food of any proper Thanksgiving dinner, mashed potatoes. We're just oiling up some vegetables. And I put all the ingredients for gravy in a saucepan. Veggie stock, soy sauce, nutritional yeast, and flour. Gravy. And there you have it, our vegan version of Thanksgiving dinner. Look at the camera and show me what you got. <laughs> not, even, uh, not even done yet. Oh, it looks so good. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. Yes, of course. So cool. <laughs> okay. We hug everyone. We hug each other. It looks awesome. Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Hope you enjoy. It's a great job. Woo. Okay. Thank you so much. Everybody look at the camera and smile with your food. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving! Well, Happy Thanksgiving! Happy very late Thanksgiving by the time this vlog gets to the channel. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe it's American Thanksgiving now. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. We can we can put it up for American Thanksgiving. I know just how I wanted it. Wow! Mm -hmm. Hit the bell <laughs> and and everything else like and, comment, and everything subscribe. else like comment Patreon uh, leave your credit card information um, <laughs> in the comment section. Give us your firstborn. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What do you think we got? What do you think we do for a living? <laughs> oh my lord. You escalated a little bit. I'm sorry. Send, send money to this address. <laughs> right here. <laughs> Give us your first porn. Yeah. Like so aggressively too. <laughs>